Hey, yeah. Hello everyone. This is gonna be another quick demo slash tutorial. This time is about how to use the new shader reader advanced version that I did from my plugin. Um, <clears throat> this plugin will not only allow you to write your shading code like before, it will also provide you the means all right, to have uh, includes in your code and then it will allow you as well to, to have uh, a custom folder structure for all your shading code, all right? So as you can see, I have this example here, this cool ocean. Uh, but before jumping into that, I just wanted to show you uh, how to set up the folder structure, right? So for that, <clears throat> go to, to the deep tab and open the project settings. Oops, there we go. Here, if you go all the way down, you will find a new section where you will find options for the shader reader plugin, right? So here you will see that we only have one unique option and this is, it is just this array. This array will allow you to register folders uh, for your shading code, right? So for example, by instance, by default, right, it will only register the shader folder. If I go to whatever location uh, of my project is, you will see that I have this shader, shaders folder, right? So that's the only one that I have registered, but of course you can register something else if you need it, right? Just a quick note, the virtual path is the path that you want to use inside the preprocessor include, all right? And the path is basically the real name of your folder, right? So that's it. That's up to you from here. Now let's take a look at that example to show you how the plugin works. Let me open this guy, all right? And here you will see that I have this ocean node that's basically one of the shader reader nodes, right? So that's it, one of those guys. And here you will see that it's not much difference. You still have the name of this node, the file, the code tab, and also the output, right? The real stuff is happening in addition. So now if you go and click the button to delete this file, right? So you will see that now you are able to have includes, right? So here, by instance, I'm using my virtual path, right, which is basically the same name of my folder, and then I'm including this library, right? If I open this file, you will see that this file is basically a small library of functions that I'm using to create waves, all right? Pretty cool, nothing really, really complicated happening here. So from there, you can use the the plugin in the same way so you need to declare some variables those has to be at the top of your file and then after the first space you will code your 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 things right so in this case all i'm doing is calling this function to produce my ocean thing right so that's it right i will include this example in the in the project so you can take a look at the code and basically that's all um hope you will find this thing useful and see you the next time